Having a clear picture of what your lure looks like underwater is essential. You need to know whether you're making contact with the bottom, whether your lure is sinking too quickly or too slowly, and oftentimes the easiest change is knowing whether you need to rig that lure on a weighted weedless hook or a jig head. Hey guys, I'm Justin at Salt Strong, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly that. We had a great question from one of our members wanting to know how different lures perform underwater based on the type of weighted hook that they're rigged on. So, for example, a jerkbait is gonna sink and perform differently in different depths based on whether it's rigged on a weedless weighted hook or it's rigged on a jig head. Both are gonna sink differently, they're gonna perform differently, and it, it begs to question, how do a lot of different types of soft plastic lures look underwater based on the type of hook that they're rigged on? So in today's video, we're gonna go over the different rigging styles for paddle tails, jerk baits, and even a couple of our shrimp lures so you get an idea of when the best time to use those lures is. So check it out here in this next clip. So as you're gonna see here, I have a Slam Shady 2.0 paddle tail rigged on a owner twist lock. Uh, surprisingly, I thought there was going to be a little more of a diagonal fall with this type of rig presentation, usually with a weighted weedless hook. There's a little bit of a 45 degree angle fall on soft plastics. Uh, just jigging this up and down, this still was falling vertically with a little bit of tail action, but there was a pause at the top, and I think that pause really makes a difference in shallow water scenarios. The next clip is going to be the same paddle tail on a jig head. This is a Z-Man trout eye jig head and as you can see it falls much faster than the owner weighted twist lock even if both weights were exactly the same the orientation of that jig head is going to get that soft plastic to fall straight down much faster and for that reason if you're going to be fishing in deeper water let's say past four or five feet this is a much more successful way to make contact with the bottom so here you're going to see our alabama leprechaun it's our five inch jerk shad rigged on the same owner weighted twist lock uh, this just looks fantastic. Uh, I mean, the pause, the fact that it stays in the strike zone so much longer um, because of that split tail design, and this is a much thicker lure overall. Uh, that pause lasts a lot longer than other paddle tails, and for that reason, staying in the strike zone is key. If you're fishing shallow water scenarios, you don't want to make contact with the bottom very quickly. You're going to want it to waft and hover and entice the fish and seem like it's truly injured. Sometimes if you make contact with bottom too quickly in shallow water scenarios, you can spook fish more than turn them on to bite. So this is the same lure rigged on a jig head, the same Z-Man trout eye jig head we had earlier on the, uh, the paddle tail. And right off the bat, you can see that the descend and the way that this lure looks underwater is completely different. It's a vertical fall straight up and down, uh, and it cuts through the water much, much faster than rigged on a owner weighted twist lock. And I think that's the biggest key is you can see right here that if you want to fish shallow water scenarios, let's say two feet or less, those weedless weighted twist lock hooks are going to keep that lure in the strike zone and it's going to sink much slower, which is what you want. But if you want to take that same lure and you're going to fish some drop off edges, four, five feet, six feet or deeper, taking that same lure and rigging it on a jig head gives you the chance to make contact with the bottom faster and target some different species like flounder or even some bigger redfish that might be hanging out in deeper water channels. And in this clip, you're going to see our custom power prawn shrimp lure rigged on a weedless weighted hook. Uh, as you can see, the way that this lure works through the water is more of like an S curve or like a wavelength. It has this up and down fashion and really slow descend, um, it, likely because of the material that it's made out of. It. It's a TPE, very durable plastic, and they tend to be a little more buoyant than traditional soft plastics. Um, but this undulation as you're bringing the lure across the flats, uh, rigged weedless, Again, just like the Alabama Leprechaun, it's gonna stay in the strike zone a little bit longer, it's gonna sink slower, and that's great for shallow water scenarios. So now we have that same lure tied up on a jig head, and if you watch this clip carefully, you'll notice that the way that this lure moves through the water is a little bit different than both the paddle tail and the jerk shad. So before, lures rigged up on a weedless weighted hook have a pause at the top of the twitch, they have a slower descend overall and at an angle, and those lures on a jig head will rise and fall through the water column much faster. 
Now, this particular lure on a jig head can kind of do both. So if there was slack in the line, this lure would shoot straight down to the bottom pretty quickly and it would allow you to fish deeper areas effectively. But at the same time, if you watch carefully, that same lure, probably because of the thickness of the tail, if you apply a little bit of resistance to the line right before it makes contact with the bottom, it will scope out at an angle and flatten out. So that means you can effectively fish this lure in shallow water scenarios as well with a lighter jig head. Um, this type of lure is just incredibly effective and versatile and definitely something you need to have in your arsenal. So I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. I know I definitely did. These were all the lures that we have in our demonstration. The Slam Shady 2.0 Paddle Tail, our Alabama Leprechaun Jerk Shad, and our Power Prawn, the Junior and the Original. There's two different sizes. A combination of all of these lures rigged in different scenarios, whether it's on a weighted weedless twist lock hook or a jig head of different weights will effectively allow you to cover different depths. And that's what it's all about, fishing your depth more effectively with the right tools. If you guys wanna pick up any of the lures that you see here in front of you, we have all of them over at our shop page, fishstrong.com. And if you join our insider club, you can earn up to 20% off of all of these lures, hooks, and any tackle that you need, and learn more about when to use each of these lures for different species, different times of the year, different depths and structures. We teach all of that information over to our insider members at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best inshore fishing club in America that teaches you how to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. There is nothing else like it. We guarantee that you're gonna catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education and exclusive insider community and huge discounts on all the tackle that an inshore angler needs. So to learn more, head over to saltstrong.com and we will see you on the water soon.